guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to another week's edition of Heat Press Nation Live. This is Jared. I'm Estevan, and we got a really great show for you guys today. We're super excited to be talking about something that comes up pretty much all the time. Uh, today's episode is called The Sublimation Station. As you can see, we have all of our sweet sublimation gear. But before we go any deeper into that, there's a couple stuff that we do want to share with you guys, especially uh, if this is your first time watching. That's right. Uh, this is your first time joining us, so I want to let you know right now we like to have a lot of fun up here, uh, talking about product demonstrations, actual you know live demos here, and giveaways as well as prizes. So for those of you who were able to tune in last week, and if you like and share that episode, your name is actually in here, and we'll be drawing a uh, prize a just a little bit later. Yep. But for those of you who are tuning in today, you can actually get involved right now. All you got to do is like and share this post. You'll be automatically entered into winning the prize. Cool, cool. Um, we're giving away today, I believe, a uh, Easy oh, Weed. Uh, oh. Winner's choice uh, for Easy Weed, uh, five yard roll, and then uh, we'll be announcing the prize for next week just a little bit. But right. there's also. So, uh, oh, so, oh, sorry to interrupt. So it. basically, if you liked, oh, really quick, let's just show you guys how to share things. We're going to want to post it to your timeline. And then uh, we're, so, okay, so really quick, sorry, caught us a little off guard there. But basically, the way to enter into our weekly giveaway is, as Esteban said, to like and share. So we're going to roll that video one more time. And this is the, is the easiest way to share a post. If you're on your phone, uh, you're just gonna, of course, open the video. Uh, we're gonna have that video played again right now. Uh, and we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to be entered to win these hot, cool prizes. You're gonna open up your video right there at the bottom. You're gonna hit share. You're gonna hit post. And then one more time right there, you're just gonna hit post. Boom. That easy. That easy, guys. No excuses. You can go ahead and get those like and shares in right now. And we also right. have a uh, second way they can win prizes right now, right? Yes, sir. So uh, every week we give away a prize to the people's pick. Well, it's like a hybrid. It's kind of like we pick and then they pick. So uh, we call this segment HP and Creators Post, Post of, of the, the week. week. So here, uh, here is where we share some of our favorite posts and that come in either through the hashtag, hashtag HP and Creators, which you see right there. Uh, and then we also get these posts from our Facebook group. That's right. Look, so why don't you talk about the Facebook group? Because I'm a big fan of the Facebook group. No, I, our community we have on Facebook is super awesome. If you guys haven't already, uh, it's going to be Heat Press Nation creators, uh, right moderated uh, by the experts, uh, mainly Jared. But there's and just so, so much support, honestly, from all of our community, family members, people sharing their time and temperature settings. Right. Uh, great place to showcase your work. You know, you could be really, you know, showing people what you're capable of, inspiring others, or maybe even opening up additional revenue streams. But mainly, yeah. it's a super helpful place to, you know, people really fine tune their craft, dial in those transfers, and you know, really start making some awesome stuff like we do up here every day for you guys. So uh, make sure you check out the group. It's gonna be right there on Facebook. Facebook, and so. What, what that group is really good for too, of course, like Esteban said, is sharing your work. So every week we find some of the coolest posts that we can find in the Facebook group and using the hashtag, and then we bring them in for a segment called HPN Creators, uh, or sorry, hashtag HPN Creators Post of the Week. So if we have those options, we're actually gonna show them to you right now. Uh, the first one here is option A. I like this, check it out. It's a front and back. So like, it's the same graphic on the front and the back, but like, Dude, I love how it hits you twice. So when you come in, you're like, oh, that's a cool shirt. Dude passes you up, he's checking his shirt out. Dude, that's a tight shirt. Like, oh, this it's is cool awesome. coming and going, man. I love the theme here, the placement. This is something I would purchase and wear, you know, not. Uh, no, this came out really good. I like the dual layer on the back there as well. Excellent. Yeah, I think that's electric red. It, it may it's very pretty well pretty rad be. looking. And this is going to be option A, guys. Then B, this is cool. Like, I, and now some of you guys, I hope you can appreciate the detail because we have layered uh, glitter on there and just, I think the color coordination and honestly the way this shot is set up some of you guys need to take some tips from this uh, one of our HP from this creator because uh, it looks rad no I mean yeah like Jared said the quality of the shot there really I feel raises your perceived value when your customers are you know, looking at your mm -hmm. products and just someone I would, would like to do business with but no this came out awesome love the layer effect here awesome coloring yeah very like a pretty simple like the previous design but still the way the colors are comboed Looks fantastic. Absolutely. And then here we have option C. Now this is gonna be more of a sports theme one. Looks like it's possibly maybe a children's garment, but I mean, just look at all the different uh, colors they're using for the balls. Yeah, I thought that was pretty intense. Like it, at first you think, okay, that's cool. You know all those balls, but then you realize, wait, that's one layer, two layer, three. Like you start counting layers, then you realize, 
Darn, that's that's pretty intense. For a, makes for a really really cool shirt. No, it came out super awesome. Uh, really no wrong answer here today, guys. Uh, let's run through those choices one more time here, really quick for everybody. Here we go. We have option A, and this is the awesome pocket tee with the reinforced logo there on the back. This one came out Very really cool nice. Cool samurai tee. Option B looks like we have some cheer gear here, but uh, yeah, very cool. Looks like we got like a blanket, tote bag, ribbons. Very, very cool. And, and then, then of course the what is this? Which one is this? This is like the athletic themed here. We got the all the sports of the season. Got the number there with the name. Uh, awesome piece here. Get your votes in, guys. This is going to be up to you. A, B, or C. We'll be announcing that at a later time. But uh, yeah, awesome yeah. selections this week Very from the cool. group. And all you guys can participate in that. I mean, if you want to go ahead and use the hashtag HPN Creators on any of your social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or like Jared said, share in the group and you know we'll compile those and give the audience the chance to choose and you guys can win some awesome stuff every week. Very cool. So once again, pick the one you like or if you're watching this later at what you know after the fact when we're not live, just comment what letter uh, you think should win. We're gonna read those comments. And speaking of comments, we have all of our friends here on YouTube. And then, as well as Facebook, we are doing a live simulcast today on both platforms. Thank you to everyone joining and Everybody. letting us uh, start your weekend a little early with you guys. Are you guys ready to have some fun? I'm excited. I'm ready to have lots of fun. So, uh, should we get started? Let's get started, guys. Let's get started. As we said, today's episode is called Sublimation Station. We're going to be going over a lot of our different processes from preparation to pressing and then showing you some awesome final products as well. Very cool. So, well, real quick, before we get started, like little fun story about sublimation. So you see this plaque that we have here. I actually got asked to make uh, some of those plaques. And so most you know, we will commonly say like, hey, like if you plan on doing sublimation, like make sure you know, on hard substrates, make sure you have like a swing away. But me personally, I don't have a swing. Away. I have the 1620 version of this puppy right here, uh, which is the signature series. So what I was able to do is because the signature series, we don't glue down the pads. They're removable. So I didn't have, when I tried to load the plaque in, I didn't yeah. have enough space to press my plaque. So I pulled the rubber pad out and I put down a t-shirt so you know it wouldn't scuff the plaque. And it worked perfectly. I have, I'll have to bring in some samples. Yeah, I'll, I'll try absolutely. to borrow one back next week. But it was really cool. So you see that? I mean, of course, love that it slides in and out. But I was able to remove the rubber pad entirely. And so that's something that's really cool. Now, you don't want to be placing your, th this will scratch it. It's kind of a rough, well, it's not too rough, but you it's know. It's machined. It's meant for function, go. not appearance. Uh, but yeah, as we can see, we just want to go ahead and throw a uh, t-shirt right up over here. Yep. And so as Jared said. That's exactly what I did. I just covered it with an old t-shirt. And then uh, I was able to I was able to press my plaque just like that. It was super easy. Um, well, I don't want to say super easy. It was easy enough to where we, I was, uh, you know, I was able to get it all done. I did like five plaques over the weekend. And, uh, and, you know, my customers loved it. I'm glad because the customer happened to be my mom. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> glad we were, glad I was able to get that. But, yeah, it was really fun, and I was, I was really surprised to be TBH. I was prepared to go to my friend's house. He has a swing away. I was, that was like my last, but he lives really far. So uh, I'm really glad that I was able to do it on my swing. So, so to answer the question, I know we get a lot like, do I really need a swing away? It's easier. Don't get me wrong. It's easier. But you can definitely pull stuff off with your uh, swing away, with, awesome. with your clamshell. There we go. That's a pro tip, guys. These, like Jared said, not sealed down from the factory for a reason for something like this, or if you ever need to replace it, or something like the Nomex felt, or the right, you know, right. options are endless with the signature series or any of the awesome Heat Press Nation machines available at HeatPressNation.com. HeatPressNation.com. You don't need to go anywhere else, guys. No, that's right. Uh, yeah, thank everyone so much for tuning in today, guys. We've got a great show for everyone, as we said earlier. Um, so we start off with uh, some preparation, right? Uh, I think yes. we've got some of our transfers ready to go already. Yeah, so really quick. Now, today's today's broadcast is called Sublimation Station. We're talking all sublimation, so sorry if you're looking for some heat transfer vinyl, some glitter vinyl, sorry you're going to have to tune in for another session or go watch a previous episode because today it's nothing but sublimation. And we're really excited about it, so really quick, I'm going to try to go this as fast as possible. What the heck is sublimation? What is sublimation? What is sublimation? Hmm. So sublimation is, we're going to use a specialized printer now today. This one's pretty big. I don't know if you can tell, like, get, like, for scale how big this is. This is our Sawgrass SG-800. Now, most popularly, a lot of you guys, if you already have sublimation gear, you have the 400, which is the little brother of this particular printer. Um, so you're going to, so what this printer has, it has a specialized paper and ink system. That's Technically, right. it is an inkjet printer, but you, we do not use regular inkjet ink. Regular inkjet ink is not going to be able to get 
transferred onto cool coffee mugs like this. This dog bowl, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. You can't do that with regular uh, inkjet ink. You have to use sublimation ink. So we have the specialized printer. We have our sublimation ink in there, our sawgrass ink, and then we have our special paper, which is the... Text print R. Text print R. R. Thank you. R. And that's because we're <laughs> using the sawgrass, which runs off of a gel-based ink system. Right. Uh, for those of you who may be using something like an Epson or you know another converted inkjet printer, you're likely going to be working with text print XPHR, as those are going to be developed for the water-based ink. Yes, and we always like to make that specification because if you have the wrong paper, it's like legit not going to work. So anyway, so you print your so you print onto the specialized paper, and I have a sample right here. Where we're going to be doing this in a little bit, uh, and I, I trimmed it down. It didn't print perfectly like this. I trimmed it down. So you print onto the paper, and then when what, here's why you need a heat press. The heat from the heat press gets the ink, and when the ink is heated up, it turns into a gas, and it's a dye. Now, when it's heated up, you need to put it on something. So that's where the pressure comes in. You press it into your T-shirt, into your dog bowl, into your coffee mug. And then that's what dyes the surface of whatever you're pressing. Now, because it's a dye, it's super permanent. For example, we have people who have, who have uh, put these through the washing machines literally hundreds of that's times. Right. Washing machine. Dishwasher. Dishwasher and <laughs> microwave safe, guys. We are literally yes. dyeing the surface of these substrates. Now, these aren't just any you know, old coffee cups from the cupboard right, it's or not from, from the dollar Target. Store. Yeah. No, these are actually specially treated with a polymer film coating, uh, invisible to the eye, but that's what's going to allow that ink that under heat turns into a gas to dye the surface of the product there. Right. Now, if you're saying, does everything have to be specially coated? All your hard surfaces do have to be specially coated. But if you're looking to work with garments, we have 100% polyester tea um, right here that we're going to be sublimating in just a minute. Uh, if you want to sublimate, it has to be 100% polyester. You can get away with a high uh, polyester, like if you had like 80 polyester, 20 cotton percent, um, but it's not going to look as sharp. And we actually did that on an episode, previous episode, a couple weeks back. That's right. Um, I'll comment that in the comments a little bit later. Speaking of comments, if you have any questions at all about any of the processes or, pro or anything, comment on YouTube Live, comment on Facebook Live, wherever you find yourself watching us. Be sure to get active in the comments. Um, I don't know if we have any questions right now, but as they come in, I know I see Esteban checking in periodically. If you have any questions at all, please be sure uh, to, to chime in. We'll be happy to answer as many as we can on li uh, live on the air. And whatever we don't, we'll be getting into the comments after the fact. So even if you're watching this like two months down the road, right? Yeah, absolutely. We do get the alerts and the notifications if you are watching this you know, down the road. And we can get to those you know, as soon as they come on in. But uh, yeah, let's make this a fun one, guys. Get active in here. You, you know, We do this for you guys, and you make it the most fun to be up here. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. Very cool. So, so that's basically it. You print it out, you heat press it, and you're done. Super easy. There's no weeding involved. There's no special cutting or trimming. I mean, I trimmed this one. Where is that? I trimmed it just to make it easier to place, but really I did not have to do that at all. The white border is not going to transfer. Only the ink transfers, which makes this super easy to work with. So Absolutely. Yeah. So we got a variety of awesome products we're going to be doing sublimation onto today. Uh, as you can see here, some have already been transferred. We'll touch on that in just a moment. What do you want to start with today, Jared? So I feel like the easiest thing is going to be, um, well, I think they're all kind of the easiest thing. So we have, so we're going to go for the funnest thing. And today hey. our funnest thing is going to be, drum roll. is that a puzzle? It's a drum. It's a puzzle. Okay. All right, awesome. Uh, so, we here we got, looks like a 250 count uh, super complex, awesome sublimation blank puzzle. And oh, look we're being it. a little vain today. <laughs> this puzzle is gonna be, this is gonna be a Jared and Esteban puzzle. So we took a still from one of our previous episodes uh, and we're actually, oh, there we go. Now, oh, one thing I do wanna point out, this looks faded. Check, please keep in mind how faded this looks when you print it out. And then we're gonna show you the actual puzzle and then you'll see, whoa, that's pretty crazy all your transfers, and we've gotten this question in tech support, I know that, right? Absolutely, you know, we do get the call like, hey, my printer's printing faded, my printer's not working, have you done the transfer yet? Have we pressed it yet? Hold judgment until you actually do your final pressing on here. This is gonna be meant to kind of really maximize your ink supply. You don't need to super saturate the paper, so uh, if you guys have one of these, you know we're printing through our Virtuoso Print Manager. This is gonna allow us to do the mirroring and also make sure that we're managing our ink levels effectively. So right. even though, as Jared said, it will print a little more on the dull side, once it's transferred, it'll be nice and vibrant like how we see on the screen. Exactly, so I'm gonna move this out of the way so we can show you guys Esteban's process here. And don't worry, everything's going to be coming right back out. We're just going to give him a clear space to work. So 
we have our print and sublimation transfer, and we have our, we're moving it from the packaging. There we go. All right. Someone will clean so, that up. Someone will get that. Alex, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so um, we do have the cardboard here. I'm going to be using this as a little bit of support so my puzzle stays together yes. nice and intact. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get this ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Oh, and for this, by the way, you're going to need your trusty heat tape, guys. If you're sublimating, I cannot stress how important it is to have heat tape or sub, uh, adhesive spray, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. But S is just going to line it up. And why don't you walk us through? Yeah, absolutely, guys. So as you can see here, I do have a little border kind of going around the outskirts of the perimeter here. Um, this is going to allow for a little bit of overflow so we can achieve what's called a full bleed. So that means we're just going to have Ooh. ink coverage, end to end, sideline to sideline. And let's go ahead and use this as our uh, kind of framework to get this in position. What I'm going to do here really quickly is just fold a little tab there. So I'm going to have something to pull off of when I have this ready to come off here. Let's go ahead and start laying down some heat tape. Nice. Now, this heat tape is super important because, like we mentioned before, when the sublimation ink is heated up, it turns into a gas. Now, when you pull it out of your press, it doesn't just automatically stop. Like, the gas is still, the dye could still be activated. So if you, like, smudge it or move it or if it shifts, that could cause what's known as ghosting or blurred effect. So you don't really want that. So the heat, heat tape keeps everything nice and firmly in place until you're ready to peel it away. When you peel it away, you want to make it a quick peel. Um, you can peel it hot, you can let it sit for a little while, but what you don't want to do is to let it shift while it's sitting. So um, yeah. we're going to show you that in just a moment. The other thing we're going to do, and Esteban's going to show you right now, is you have to have your parchment paper. Now you Absolutely. could use your Teflon sheets, your ProGrade non-stick sheets, as we like to call them, because we're not allowed to say Teflon. Teflon, trademark term, ProGrade <laughs> non-stick sheet, uh, so we, <laughs> we sell this stuff by the roll. We've, we've, I feel like this is an eternal rule. Like some people say, oh, it's so expensive. No, no, no. This, it's like we've been using this all season. Yeah, it's so. like a 164 foot roll. And as you know, like we, we just like once we're done with it, like we just trash it. You could reuse it, but we don't. So, anyways. Yeah. So, and if you are trying to, you know, be resourceful or maximize all of your materials, I always tell everyone on the phone, just make sure you keep mindful. If you do have uh, any kind of ink transferring onto your parchment paper. That's going to be meaning it's time to replace that, get a new sheet. You do have uh, you know over 100 feet here, so uh, you don't want that getting on any of your other substrates or tagging any material right. or getting onto you know any other parts of your machine. We're trying to protect the heating element primarily as well as the silicone pad. We really want to maximize the life cycle of this machine. Yeah, if it transfers, well, basically once it gets on your heating element, that's going to get on every T-shirt you press after that. So, so anyway, so Stefan's going to come around right now, and he's going to show you exactly how easy it is. Oh, oh, we got oh, you the scissors. Can do it. We got yeah, scissors let's do it. Right let's, here, do it. let's do this. He's about to go cave down. It's, ugh, sometimes as a man, you just got to tear something. Anyways, all right. So I do see we have some comments coming in. Really great to have all of you guys here with us. We got some hellos from North Carolina. Got some hellos from NYC. Hey. I know my boy Stevie Steve's watching there. Hello, Stevie Steve. Um, man, so much awesome stuff. Lambo. Sam Torres says, yes, it works great on trucker hats. See that? We had a question come in from Debbie, and she's asking, does it work on trucker hats with the foam, like, you know, like the foam panel trucker hats? And then before we could even get to it, we got our great buddy Sam Torres there says, yes, works great on trucker hats. Sick. So super awesome. Angela uh, Dimino says, love you guys. Well, my HPM clamp shall work. You're about to see our clamp shall in action. Now, one thing I will say really quick, and it's going to be hot, so... Um, this one has the floating, we call it the floating platen, meaning that this platen is going to shake a little bit. Little it's going to have a little tiny wobble. That's actually on purpose. Wobbly, wobbly. It's intentional to help your platen kind of accommodate anything that might not sit perfectly on there. Um, so if you have something with a fixed platen like the M-Press, uh, you just want to make sure that it's lining up perfectly. I would suggest checking pressure before you heat it up. Um, you can you can probably get this, uh, you know, do like a thicker plaque on there, remove the rubber pad on bottom, but your pressure, you're going to want to adjust that before you um, before you heat it up. Um, it should work, but for sure, I know this, so this one will because it has that floating upper platen. So anyways, I've talked too much. Good buddy Esteban's going to come up here and All he's right. going to show us how we do All right. on this. So we're going to use our tools like adults here and get uh, nice and situated. Just slide that out so they can see. And by the way, can't stress enough how much I love the slide out drawer That's right. on this one. So for this particular substrate, we're going to go ahead and have the uh, facing up. Right. Correct. Right. And with the transfer on top facing down. Got that there nice and positioned. Let's go ahead and get a little more parchment. 
while you do that, I'm just going to adjust the timer on here. Make sure that's square. So today, as we mentioned, we are working with our Signature Series 1515 Auto Open with the Slide Out Dro. So um, we're going to go Sorry ahead. Sorry for that beeping. No, no worries. <laughs> uh, we're going to have this set to 385 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to press this one here for about 60 seconds, guys. You ready? Let's there do we this. Are. All right. There we go, right there. So that's going to chill for about 60 seconds because we're at 385 degrees. Now, uh, 400 degrees is a very common temperature uh, for doing sublimation. You're, you know, and we say this a lot, it's going to range 385 to 400 is about where you want to be. And it's going to be anywhere from like 30 to 90 seconds, depending on what you're pressing. Could be more, could be less. We found that 385 uh, for 60 it's a, it's a pretty solid setting. Um, so you're seeing this live. Actually, we haven't done a puzzle yet live on the air. So this is going to be our first puzzle that we're doing here at Heat Press Nation Live. I'm going to open this up really quick here. And we're going to see if we have any comments coming in. Oop, I closed that out. There we go. So anyways, I'm going to get that. Uh, looks like our timer is counting down. So Stevan's going to come up here any second now. And let's see. Oh, there we go. And we're just going to help it open so that way it doesn't pop too hard. There we go. There we go. That's the auto open, guys. All right. So looking at the parchment here, this one may be good to be used again. As you can see, we have no uh, dye migration, no ink transferred onto here. So this one is likely reusable. Uh, always be extra careful when we're handling any of the materials coming out of the have heat press machine. Look at you. Awesome possum. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, oh, and by the way, gloves are going to be coming soon to heatpressnation.com. We get so many questions about that. Say, hey, how do I not burn my hands? Um, you're going to want some nice, nifty gloves. So, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we want to give this just a little bit of time because everything is still settling. The ink is going to be very warm. So, just to have the smoothest transfer, we recommend between 30 to 60 seconds, kind of just letting it cool down for a brief moment. It doesn't have to return all the way back to room temperature, but just so that we can let that ink settle so we don't have any kind of smearing or ghosting. Sounds good. I think we're going to be ready. S is going to come around. And we are going to peel this thing and show you guys the awesome Jared and Esteban puzzle. All right. Let's see here. So you can see, okay, we're going to flip that puppy over. All right. I think. Well, what a tough, see, he doesn't even need gloves, guys. Look at this macho man of a man right so here. So here we go. We have our little pull tabs that we left there for us. Super easy. This was actually, you know, just speaking to the helpful community of all of our Heat Press Nation oh, yes. family, this is actually a pro tip given to me from one of our viewers when we were doing mugs. Get this right off, super easy, instead of having to, you know, try and pick off the tape there. So let's go ahead. You guys ready? Now look at That's that. Beautiful. And look how rich and vibrant that color <laughs> is. All right, so I know we were concerned when the printout first came. Uh, we were a little bit concerned that it wasn't going to be dark enough. It looks so faded. But now that we actually see it there on the puzzle, dang, it makes us look good. And you go, if I can get the camera two back one moment here, just so you guys can see, this is a, actually a real puzzle. Oh, yeah. Check that out. You see Whoa. that? Ooh, that's going to be fun a little bit later. No, we'll try and put it together maybe while you're doing stuff. We'll get this sorted out. Super easy, guys. You saw how quick this can be done. 60 seconds, 385 degrees. Awesome product to offer to your customers or loved ones. Great way yeah. to diversify, especially if you're already working with some sublimation transfers. Exactly. Now, you know what's really cool? Someone will clean that up. Um, <laughs> you know what's really cool uh, is that, the, just an idea, if you want to know, well, what the heck am I going to do with the sublimation puzzle? Uh, when my, uh, well, now wife, and my, at the time, fiance, was asking um, her girls, like, to be their bridesmaids. Like, she gave them each a puzzle, and when they built it, it said, will you be my bridesmaid? And they all cried and stuff. So I'm assuming Aww. that's a good thing. Usually if the girls are crying, I hope it's a good thing. But anyways, yeah, super awesome. cool. There's so many different applications for this. Um, you know what would be really cool, too, is if, like, you know, for gender reveals, you build it, it says what it is. I don't know. So many different applications. Possibilities are endless, guys. Really just off the top of the head right there. There's so many yeah. ways you can maximize and diversify that cash flow and really separate yourself, not only, you know, from your competition, but, you know, from other retailers out there. So awesome stuff here. Uh, checking in really quick with the Facebook guys. Uh, thank you guys, everyone, so much again yes. for tuning in here. We got some hellos from uh, New Orleans. Greetings, Michael greetings. Clark, uh, Sam Torres up in uh, our brothers in NorCal. Oh, Thanks very so cool. much for joining. 
And, uh, you know, actually, I think it may be time just to show them really quick again our uh, post of the week entries. Yes, because this is like one of my favorite parts. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to pause really quick. If this is your first time watching us, um, or maybe you're just barely tuning in, today is all about sublimation. You are tuned in live to the t sublimation station uh, with your hosts, Esteban and Jared. And Jared. So uh, we're here. We're showing you sublimation. We just did a sublimation puzzle. Sorry if you missed it. Um, but we got some more stuff coming. But before we do that, remember, post of the week. So we selected our top three posts um, that were shared on using the hashtag HPN Creators or in our group. We're showing you post A right now. And next is we're going to have post B. It's sheer stuff. Very cool. And then here post we C. have uh, option C here, the athletic theme. With and the multi-layers, you, you got to stress that. It's so cool, man. Uh, the complexity the there layers. is just on another level. Even if something as simple as a sports ball is, if you just look at the different colors on here, getting everything positioned correctly, uh, super awesome. No wrong choices today, guys. Make sure you get your votes in. Exactly. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, so all you have to do to vote is just comment below which letter you think is the best. Uh, in your opinion, we're going to tally up all the votes at the end of the week. Uh, or, I'm sorry, we're going to tally up the votes before next week's episode and announce that winner next week. We will announce the winner from last week to, at a later point today. Um, we're about to do that. So um, don't forget, we also have our drawing. If you liked and shared last week's post, this is your name possibly. You That's right. all the names right here. We'll be drawing those in just a little short while. But if you want to get involved in next week's drawing, take this it away, Jared. all you got to do. You just got to hit that share button. You're going to uh, share the post, and then boom, make sure you hit that post. I know it's a couple extra steps. It's a little bit more than it used to be, but that's all it takes to share this post to be entered to win once again. Um, we do want you also to know every time we're going live, so hit that Facebook. You see these three dots in the top there. Boom. You're going to tap that. Then you're going to tap the turn on the notifications button. That's it. This one's a little bit easier. And that's all you have to do to be notified every time we go live. That way you don't miss an episode of Heat Press Nation Live. That way you can tune in and see all these cool new products, see stuff that you can offer to your customers, to your family and your friends. I don't know, maybe some, maybe everyone in your family is getting puzzles for Christmas this year. Why I don't not? know. <laughs> There's so much that you can do, and we're really excited to share that with you guys. So please be sure to like and share this post. And who knows, you could be winning um, next week's prize. We're going to announce that in just a little bit. Stay tuned. We always say the prizes for the end because Absolutely. we want you guys to stay tuned. So stay tuned to see if you're a winner or to see how um, other ways you can win. Uh, you got it. All right, so we started off with the sublimation puzzle. You guys saw how fast that was, 60 seconds, super easy. Now let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, it's a little tinier. Okay. But this is something that's also very cool that a lot of people don't know about. So this is like a little secret product here. This is a sublimation keychain, and I'm going to like kind of get as close as I can to this camera right now, um, but we're going to show some in a second. There we go. Look at this keychain. It's right here. This is very cool. It actually comes with a little, I think they call it a key fob or whatever, and you use to attach it to your keychain. But this is super cool because you're getting full color on here. And we're going to show you with this really neat graphic that S is going to press for us. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to use our heat tape um, right. to fix it in place. Super easy to use, except while he's doing that, I'm going to up the time because these ones do take a little bit more time. All righty. So while Jared's doing that, you guys can take a look here. Uh, as you can see, once again, we do have a little bit of excess as far as our print. Uh, that's going to be so we uh, can achieve what we call the full bleed. So you want to have that ink end zone to end zone, sideline to sideline. Let's go ahead and get this affixed on here. Once again, we're going to leave our little pull tab for the heat tape. I'm going to have this right on here in position. I think for these little ones, we only need like two strips, right? Yeah, should it be just, good. It's so cute. It's Absolutely. cute. <laughs> All right, and once again, guys, this is going to be printed on the Text Print R sublimation paper for gel based ink, and we were using our Virtuoso Sawgrass SG800. Yeah, and I know we have a lot of questions. Sawgrass recently discontinued uh, the power driver, and everybody using the Virtuoso Print Manager, but that's actually a really, really good thing. The Print Manager is incredible. Uh, we have a tutorial coming out in the next couple of weeks on how to use that, but it's super simple. Basically, if you could print on a normal printer, you can print on your sawgrass. It's it's that simple. Um, you know, uh, we couldn't get a computer on on here on stage today. But really, it would have take it would have only added like an extra like thirty to sixty seconds to just show you. Okay, click print, send, go. Like that's literally how simple it is. So uh, if anyone's overcomplicating things for you, you can tell them, hey, I'm just gonna you know call my heat press nation guys. 
Um, remember, we do offer free lifetime technical support. My buddy is <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> guys. Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time, all the way to 5 p.m. Pacific. It's going to be 8 o'clock Eastern for all of our East Coast customers and family. So extended hours for everybody. Nice. Um, Jared's got, gone ahead and turned up our uh, time to 85 seconds. 85, just a little bit more than what we were using for the puzzle. But we're still going to be pressing everything at 385 Fahrenheit. So I think the temperatures, everything is good. You ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So S is going to come around, uh, and you notice that he trimmed off some extra pieces of parchment paper. I love, that's why I love parchment paper, like it's inexpensive, so you could just cut, snip, do whatever you got to do uh, to get it taken care of. So he's actually going to come up right now. Now, this is just a little piece. Uh, I know you're thinking like, hey, couldn't I do multiples? Yes, you can. You just want to add a little time um, per keychain. So let's say you're doing a dozen keychains. Um, there we go. Sometimes the paper curls. It's okay. Let's say you're doing a dozen keychains. You know oh. you could f and you could fit them all on your heat press. Yeah. That's totally fine. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're adding a little bit of time. I want to say you add about five seconds per keychain, but I'm not 100% cer certain. Uh, we'll be sharing that in the comments. So, anyways, let's do this. Here we go. And it's that simple, especially when you have a signature series press with auto open. You notice that the bottom drawer was sliding out toward Esteban, a uh, really, really amazing safety feature because your hands aren't, you're not reaching in underneath the heating element. Uh, you know, you're not bringing your knuckles, which I did for sure in training here. I don't know why you guys trained me on the, on the, the, on the M press. Yeah, what the heck, man? I got trained on the M press. Uh, and so I was like bringing my knuckles and said, oh, and by the way, here's the signature series. I was like, oh yeah, thanks guys. Anyways, that was a couple years ago. Um, but anyways, do we have a question. How many keychains um, per press? I don't know. This is a 15 by 15 heat press. Each of these keychains is about 1.25 by, I want to say, 2.5. So I would guess you could fit at least 20 to 25 keychains on here. Just like, you know, putting them out. But of course, you're going to want to keep adding time uh, for each one. So that's going to be really key there. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of time left. We've got about 20 seconds left. So uh, S is going to be coming up in just a moment. I don't think we have any questions. I see the votes coming in, and that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for voting for Post of the Week. I'm super excited. We'll see who the winner is. We have ML Preston chiming in, first time viewer. Thank you, ML Preston. Thank you so much, ML uh, Preston. For watching. Welcome aboard. Make sure you I get those you. entries in. Want to make sure everyone's got a chance to win today, guys. Boom. They call it magic. And you see that drawer slides out, so S doesn't have to reach in under Where's the heat gloves? element. Gloves are right here. I got you, pal. Boom. I can hear this finalizing, guys. We can't stress that enough. You know, we do get calls in tech about, you know, the images ghosting or blurring. And there's folks out there taking the transfer off as soon as it comes out of the press. So not just for the heat, you know, high temperature coming out of the machine, um, but just for the quality of your transfer to have the most clear, vivid images. You want to give it about between 30 to 60 seconds, roughly, to make sure you've got everything settled in there nice and tight. Yeah. So we'll give that and just And also, that, this is where the heat, the heat tape comes in because this transfer is not shifting. It's not going anywhere. We secured it properly in place with the heat tape. So S is going to come back around. He's going to show it off. Uh, oh, his really yeah. cool keychain. I look. I, I imagine that's hot. I think, uh, you know, it's cool and it's cool and it's a little smaller substrate. But let's take a look here, dude. Look at this heat. Tape. That is a cool. Is it hot? It's warm. Yeah. It's what a warm. macho man. Macho, <laughs> macho man. Well, just look at the vibrancy there, guys. Super rich color saturation. Awesome placement. Excellent print. Great work, Jared. Why, thank you. And look at that. That's okay. Hold on. Let's tilt it so they can see the colors. Yeah, there we go. Dude, that is a bomb keychain. So if you guys are selling merch for bands, if you got like a, if you're raising an awareness campaign, um, you know this is something that you could be selling. This is great for nonprofits. It's also great for like, ah, I don't know <laughs> how you do that. I thought I was, he's handling it like if it's like a, like an ice cube. I'm looking at it. Like if I may chime in for one moment, guys, as you can see here, what we have on this uh, parchment paper is going to be a little bit of uh, ink overflow. So uh, it's yes. just because we did the full bleed, made sure we have full coverage on the substrate. This means this parchment paper is done though. Done so. So someone will clean that up. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, so we got this here. That is looking super red. You guys can see the vibrancy now. You can see how awesome these things are. So if you're kind of on the fence on sublimation, like, well, I don't know. Um, I say go for it. I say go for it. Really too. quick, before we get into our next segment, we're going to show you guys something that we did this morning. And this is our sublimation dog bowl. 
check it out. I think we have a video. They're gonna they're gonna queue up in just a second. Um, uh, but yeah, the submission dog bowl we used a. Uh, Came out great, really cool. And the reason being is that like you, ovens are different, not and and our bakers will know this. Like you might be setting your oven to 385 or 400, but it's not actually there. Um, so with my oven, I just want to be very careful. But check this out. This is cool. This was printed. Now we printed this on eight and a half by eleven paper. There is a break right here. There's a break right here. And there's a break right here. So it's not a full three. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we got Enzo, this is a dog, my wife's dog. We see our break right here, and then we see also our break right here, right there. So now you're not gonna get a full wrap. I mean, if we, even if you had 11 by 17 paper, the circumference on this thing is like over 20 inches. So you're not gonna get it on a single strip anyways. So you could print this on your eight and a half by 11 inch uh, printer, or if you have eight and a half by 14, that works too on your Sawgrass SG400, which is the little brother of this big old 800 right here. Of course, we did use our 800 because it was it's what we're using today. Uh, but yeah, super cool. So you can actually get this dog bolt done with your SG400 uh, and the oven wrap, which I don't have on here because, it, oh, because it was really, really hot. It may still be near the oven. Yeah, it's <laughs> very, very hot. So, uh, but we do have those oven wraps available on our website. It's, they're on heatpressnation.com right now. Now, we actually have a sublimation oven. If you're a little wary, it's totally safe, but if you're a little wary about putting, you know, this in your oven, uh, that's fine. We do have a sublimation oven available by Hicks. Really cool stuff. Um, really glad to have those. And of course, the oven wraps by Hicks as well. You can wrap your shot glasses. You can wrap your mugs. Or if um, you have uh, maybe some obtuse pieces of drinkware. I know we got had some awesome steins or yeah. more, kind of more decorative, and you really want to get that full coverage on there. If it's something that may not fit in your 6-in-1 Signature Series automated mug press, there are alternative means to really get that full coverage. Having something like an oven wrap is just on a kind of different level. Yeah. It does take a little longer, mind you. you got to wait for your oven to, to heat up. And like I said, this thing took, uh, if, we could, if we could fit this in a mug press, it would have pressed in about four or five minutes in the oven, it took about 16 minutes. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you. Um, but really cool, just again, we're talking all about sublimation today. So these are all the different awesome things that you can sublimate, that you can make with your Sawgrass SG400, your 800, maybe you have a converted C88 or 1430, or whatever it is that you're working with. This is sublimation, guys. We're making this stuff with our signature series 15 inch by 15 inch heat press. Uh, and we're really excited. So we got some more demos coming. Absolutely. Do we got any questions coming in? You know what? We got the votes coming in. Uh, ah, people are votes, liking nice. and sharing. Well, let me uh, check our Got some uh, hellos YouTube. from uh, Detroit. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I have a question from Laura Wass watching on YouTube Live. She says, can you do both sides of the keychain? Would you do them at the same time? No, you can't do both sides at the same time. Um, so what you would do is you would do, like, let's say you have 10 keychains, right? You would press the top of all of them at once. Wait for them to cool. These have to be completely cool. Um, actually, this almost cool. They cool down pretty quick. So then what you would do is you just flip them all over and then sublimate the other side of all your keychains. So for both sides, you do have to do it. It is a two-step process. Um, and then we have Nona Rodriguez says, oh, actually, Nona got to the question before us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she says, working on sublimating coffee mugs today. Nice, nice, very, very cool. Um, D says, oh, see, we got, see, I like on, you see here on our, on YouTube, we have some comments on the winners. D, the Benesman voted for Steve and said, layers take time and super creative. A Absolutely. lot of people underestimate the layering of heat transfer vinyl. So very, very cool. Um, we have a question. Mrs. Bafour Awa says, I have the Empress. Is the heating pad removable? It seems stuck to the heating element. So for the Empress, if you have an older Empress, I would say purchased maybe early 2017 or before, those uh, silicon pads actually are glued down. On the Empress line, uh, we didn't start um, not gluing them until I believe mid to late 2017. So if you have an older model Empress, it probably is glued down, unfortunately. Um, but Signature Series, we haven't been gluing those down for a while. So if it's a Signature Series, uh, likely is not gonna be glued down. And of course, any new HPN, which is Empress, 
Black Series, Signature Series, none of those are glued down anymore for this precise reason. And also, there's a couple other applications. There's a couple other reasons why you don't need uh, to glue down your silicone pad. But anyways, um, Victor is asking, do you guys ship to Europe countries? Unfortunately, we don't. Yeah, we're not um, set up for international shipping at yeah. this time. We do apologize. Uh, if you have, if you want to use a freight forwarder, I mean, we can ship anywhere within the, the continental U.S. We do ship to Alaska and Hawaii, but that is going to be an additional charge. Uh, but, you know, you can ship to someone in the U.S. and maybe have them ship it to you. But as a company, uh, we're only set up for just local or domestic shipping. And, uh, oh, great comment here. Uh, Ms. Buffer Awa says, these guys are great. Their customer service is wonderful. Aw, thank You're you awesome. so much. You You're are wonderful. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, and so keep chiming in if you have comments. These are all coming in from YouTube, of course. S is manning all of the Facebook uh, live comments. Feel free to comment live. If you're watching this after the fact, you still have questions about sublimation, feel free to comment. We do monitor our social media pretty closely. So uh, Absolutely, guys. So as you saw, we did the uh, oh, sublimation blade yeah. puzzle. It is a real puzzle. It has been put back together. Um, it came out pretty gosh darn well, if I do That's say so myself. Cool. You guys saw how we did the awesome keychain here, also available at heatpressnation.com, ready to go on to your favorite set of car keys or you know whatever yeah, you need there. That's pretty. That's pretty rad. But we're not done yet, guys. We are not done yet. We still have a couple more things to do. So let's clear the area one more time because we're going to be showing off um, how to use some uh, adhesive spray. So you guys may have noticed this sitting up here atop our Sawgrass SG-800. Now, on these substrates here, I was working with the heat tape. We showed you the little pull up. tab method there. Um, but Jared's actually going to be showing us this other product for a very similar purpose. It's going to be the Albuquerque Eco Mist Adhesive. Uh, California state law compliant, ships to all across the United States. And this is going to be an alternative means to lock down your transfer, have that in position, get really crisp, clear final results. I believe, actually, we just released a YouTube tutorial, I want to say. Uh, yes. Do we just release it or do we, are we going to release it? Going, going to. to release it. We're going Excellent. to be releasing Oh, wait. I didn't say anything. Jared, take it away. <laughs> Continue. So coming very, very soon. Uh, it's in post-production right now. Coming very, very soon is a tutorial on how to use the Eco Mist Adhesive Spray and, of course, the heat tape, which is probably easier. Um, but if you're watching live, you're going to get a sneak peek. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to lay out, and this is also where uh, having your parchment paper is going to come really in handy um, because this spray, you want to protect all your stuff from any overspray. Now, alternatively, if you have a, a good piece of cardboard laying around somewhere, and I'm just going to get flip this over. If you have a piece of cardboard laying around somewhere, you want to set it up at a separate station. You kind of don't really want this stuff um, getting on your stuff because it'll make it sticky. And it's not incredibly hard to clean off, but I mean, why have the extra hassle? So really quick here, I have my transfer. This is going to be going onto our sublimation t-shirt. And so I have my spray. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. It's not spray paint. Um, my inner, when I hear this, your inner, your inner hoodlum? Yeah, my inner cholo gets all excited, but no, 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 no. no. God has changed my life now. There so anyways, so really quick, I'm just going to give it a quick coating. You don't need to oversaturate it. You actually don't need to cover the entire thing in adhesive spray, just enough so it's going to tack onto the shirt. And we'll show you what that looks like right now. Just a quick hit. That's all it takes. We're going to give it like a second to settle in here. And then, uh, and I hope you guys, I know some people got mad because we were really wasteful the other day with our tape, but uh, someone will clean that up. All right. There we go. So anyways, so now what we can do is, actually we have our, our magic uh, T-square somewhere I here. believe we may. Let's check it out. So really quick, oh see it's, it's sticky. So now what that allows us to do, there we go, our T-square. It allows us to set up our, our graphics off the press. Um, also, and it, it does another thing, it allows us, because this is going to stick to the shirt, you can move it, you can store it, you can have somebody lining up all your shirts if you're running production style. Yeah. You know, you can have someone lining up your shirts and then they just carry it over to your press and they press it. Anyways, really quick, and I'm doing this upside down, so if I mess up, if I fudge it a little bit, you know, please, you'll have to forgive me. I guess. Maybe, please. No, but these are awesome tools right here. The uh, t Square and the Logo Grid It, both available at heatpressnation.com. As you're developing that eye to kind of, you know, spot it, you know, without measuring, this is really going to help you get that positioning, you know, dialed in and, uh, you know, develop some good habits and consistency. 
There we go. Now I can I can tell right now that it's not straight because I cut like a diamond. Um, mm. So it's shining bright like a diamond right now. And I'm just gonna t move it over just a, just a little bit. We're gonna straighten that out. Just gonna shift it over. There we go. And this is also important. This is why you don't wanna coat it like super heavy with the adhesive spray because then when it comes time to shift it, it's just gonna be really difficult just enough to tack it in place. That looks pretty good, of, of course. Thank you, S. I'm just gonna pat it down a little bit. And there we go, look, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay stuck. So if I move it over, if I need to take it somewhere, it's gonna be totally fine. I'm gonna come around right now and we're actually gonna press this bad boy and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Take it away. All right, I'm gonna double fist on the pads here. Thank you guys so much for making this a fun one, getting active, staying involved. Um, let's see here, checking in really quick. Uh, what's a good starter kit for a newbie? It's from D the Benisman on uh, YouTube. Um, we have a number of awesome business packages available on the website. They're going to be curated to specific transfers. So you'll have stuff that's going to be geared towards getting you set up with everything you need for heat transfer vinyl. You'll have stuff setting you up for heat transfer paper application as well as sublimation. And as you go through, you can actually get bundled uh, assortments that'll have different equipment for multiple different kind of transfers. Um, all that's going to be available at heatpressnation.com. Um, the sawgrass printers do come as a kit, so you're not just getting the printer. You receive a full ink supply. You receive a 110 count pack of TexPrint R. Uh, depending on what machine, you get different sizes. For more information on any of the packages or getting started today, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-215-0894 or visit us at heatpressnation.com. That being said, Jarrett, take it away. Here we go. So. Very easy, we're just gonna get the t-shirt and we're just gonna move it over here. And our transfer is staying in place, it's not shifting because we have that really cool um, Eco Mist. It's the Albachem Eco Mist, environmentally friendly. Kind of, we're kind of forced to because we live in California where people get upset at everything. Everything. Everything, so everything we have has to be environmentally friendly. 21. I got my parchment paper right here. I'm just going to give it a little tear. And one last thing before I do this is I'm going to bring our time down to about 60 seconds. And we're still rocking the 385 Fahrenheit? 385, yes, sir. That's been the magic number for all of our sublimation transfers today, hasn't it? Yes, it has, and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. There we go. The clock is ticking on our transfer. All right, so we'll give that just some time to cook in there, check in over with our Facebook family here. Uh, let's see, I would like to know more. I would like to know, do we need to order all clothing, shirts from Heat Press Nation in order to sublimate shirts, or can we sublimate regular shirts? All right, so when you say regular shirts, I'm not sure exactly what we refer to there, but for the best results, we do recommend sublimating onto 100% polyester. As Jared touched on earlier, if you do have kind of a blended or mixed composition, maybe a little bit of cotton, a little bit of spandex in there, you may be able to get away with uh, some of the transfer on there, but for the very best results, we will recommend 100% polyester. Um, there's a number of outlets out there that'll prepare garments specifically for customizing, doing heat transfer onto, but as long as you're working with white or a very light color and 100% polyester, you should be good and ready to roll. I think our timer, I feel like it's just about to open. Let's use the force here, guys. Boom. Magic. Take Magic. It away. So we're going to slide this out. Gonna get rid of that? So I'll pick that up. <laughs> I bet we still like turds just saying that all day. Oh, and so what's cool about the uh, about the text print art, and I'm just gonna peel this right here. You could just peel it right there. And now it's not sticky. Like it doesn't leave any sticky residue at all. I think this might be from an overprint, so my bad on that. No, but that looks but awesome. Check it out. I'm gonna show this to the camera. Look how bold. And how beautiful this transfer looks. Doggone. And you guys can't touch this on, on you know, oh, out I there in TV could. land, but I wish they there could. is no hand, there is no feel to this. We have literally dyed the surface of this polyester garment. You cannot even tell it's there. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, so, I mean, this is probably the softest transfer you will ever get. You're not feeling um, nothing. Really cool, really cool stuff. Awesome, excellent so work. Gonna, oh, thank you so much, good sir. Uh, someone did have a question on your process there. Uh, Sharon uh, Sneerly was asking, do you have to use adhesive spray for the t-shirt? 
You don't. For this application, just kind of showing you what kind of options you do have. We are working with the Eco Mist uh, adhesive spray. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash heatpressnation for an upcoming tutorial on this product. But heat tape can work just as good. I've used this to hold down sublimation transfers onto polyester, as well as inkjet transfers onto yes. white cotton. So if you have any concern about the residue or anything on there, I can assure you it will leave no visible marks. It is meant to only keep your transfer in place and it does a pretty darn good well job of it, if yeah. I do say so myself. Pretty good stuff. Uh, now, if you're not going to use any adhesive when you're doing sublimation transfers, you're probably going to wind. Up, ugh, you're probably going to want to line it up while it's on the press, slide it, in, and then when you get ready to peel, when you open it up, make sure you open up your press very slowly because again, it's since not nothing's holding down, it down, yeah. yeah, if it shifts and that ink is still activated, it could cause some ghosting, some blurring. So you just want to be very careful. Make sure that the transfer stays extremely still when you open up your press. And then when you peel it, just get it up and out in a quick motion. You don't want it to shift at all while it's still hot. Well said, well said. Uh, man, everyone's just really making this a fun one today. Thank you awesome. guys so much for tuning in. Looks you got like anyone got uh, popping on here. the YouTube? Yeah. So uh, Marissa Chang Flores says, oh, I'm sorry. You guys already ordered, answered that one. Uh, Wanda Bates says, do you know where we can get magnets for car signs or when they might come out with bigger ones than the little frig ones. Um, you know what? I don't. I'm sure, though, um, that whoever they're sourcing this from is because people make car magnets, obviously, right? Probably sourcing them from an industry source, cutting down from a massive stock sheet. Try find that, and then you'll have your, you'll have your answer. Odds are you'll have to buy it in bulk. Again, not speaking from experience, but I do have a slight background in printing, uh, so that's usually how that stuff goes. Right on, right on. All right, you guys saw how easy it was to prepare an awesome sublimation transfer onto 100% polyester. See the vividness, the brightness, the color there. Now, something like this is really gonna hold its shape for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, this getting too contorted, you know, when you're wearing it. But let's say you wanted to do something maybe like a sock. You know, a that's gonna sock, go with the foot in and everything kind of has to change. I mean, we, we could do something like that, right? A sock, he says. I feel so unprepared for this, but I think we can do a sock. And what, what is this? Is that what? a printed sock transfer? That's a printed sock transfer. And now, by the way, now these socks, these are pretty tall. For something like this, if you want to go full coverage from top to bottom, uh, you are going to need the uh, Sawgrass SG800. This prints 11 by 17, um, which is going to be, well, imagine this twice. Like this was cut. We trimmed it down from 11 by 17 paper, but like, like see how big I am? Like I'm a big dude, and this is like, a little, like 17 inches tall is pretty darn big. That's gonna be a lot of coverage on a shirt. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's gonna be really cool. We have we printed this on our Sawgrass SG800, which is this big bad boy right here. I know a lot of you guys are using the SG400, which is what I own personally. Hey. Picked that up not too long ago, Lambo. so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, very fun. Uh, so we did print this on the SG800. Now, um, your SG400, it is compatible with eight and a half by 14. Legal size. So 14 is only, you're only losing about three inches off of this sheet. So it's still pretty big. You'll just, if you want to do socks, you totally can. You'll just have to go for the, Start at the shorter top. socks. That's right, because this will be in the shoe, likely. Yeah, or you can get the socks where it only like goes up to like right here, you know, on the toe. Like it just, you know, the, you know you're just pressing the top. Anyways, you guys can figure that out. You're very smart. Awesome, possible. <laughs> yes, they are, yes they are. So it looks so, like we got uh, everything in position here. Now, how are we gonna get this transfer to stay in position here for us? So there's two ways that you can do socks. The, the first way is, and let me flip this over. Let's get, let's get rid of this. You know, some, someone picked that up. So, so anyways, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, as you'll see right here, and we're gonna show you guys, uh, we're gonna have our other camera over in a minute. But you see here, I printed a little bit more than what I should have on either side. So you can see this here. There's a little bit of print over here, a little bit of print over here. That's what we call bleed area, which is uh, necessary when you're printing this thing. Uh, now there's two things we could do if I wanted to. Um, I could spray, I could spray my, uh, my transfer with some adhesive spray. But since we're using a firm board insert, so the kind of the rule of thumb is, if you're doing something soft, and this is not by any means like necessary, you could use the spray and the tape almost interchangeably. Um, but the general rule of thumb for me is that if I'm doing something like a t-shirt that's soft, um, I use a spray and anything hard like a keychain, I'll use the tape. In this case, it's a soft sock, but it's also it has a hard insert. So 
We're just going to tape it in place, if that's okay with you guys. I guess. So I'm going to tape that there. I'm going to tape that there. And again, we're doing this so it can stay in place. Oops, that's a big piece of tape. We're doing this so it can stay in place. I don't know why I cut a piece of tape that big. So now this is going to work fine. I'm going to go ahead and come around and show you guys how we press a sublimation sock. All right, so while Jared's getting ready here, I uh, did have another question coming in here. This one's going to be from uh, David Rodriguez. Can you reuse the parchment paper? Um, my rule of thumb on that is if you take a look at it, there's no ink or anything you feel that may you know, get colors we don't want on the substrate or on the heat press machine, it's good to go. As you saw maybe when we did the uh, keychain here, there was a little bit of ink overflow, so I would not want to reuse that parchment paper. Just keep an eye on it and you can be very resourceful and maximize your materials here. Excellent question. Uh, Jared, ready yeah. to take it away? Fantastic. So, so I'm actually going to reuse this one. We used this in a press just now. So I'm going to reuse this one because there's no ink on it, but because all the other sheets did have some ink left over, uh, I'm not going to use those. Now, here's something interesting. So this is, an, and I'm going to move this out of the way really quick. This is an 11 by 17, so this is not going to fit on our 15 by 15 inch um, heat press. Oh no, what do we do? This is when I call my, on my good friend, Mr. Pythagoras, who has his really famous theorem. And we're going to get a little bit of, or before I do that, we're going to get a little bit of extra space if we just tilt it and take it diagonally. Now, the paper is going to hang off you see just a little bit, but our transfer, the actual transfer is going to stay perfectly on the heat press. So yes, you can press some big sock transfers on your 15 by 15 inch heat press. But if you want to do something like an 11 by 17, like a full sheet, uh, yeah, get to go upgrade to the 16 by 20. So anyways, I'm going to put this back. And now I'm going to position this very carefully because it like barely fits but it does fit so we're going to do that we're going to cover it up oh and my bad there we go i almost pressed the wrong side i did that to show you guys what not to do i meant it anyways so really quick there we go it all fits are we going to do this s what was the pythagorean theorem you said Yes, sir. A squared, B squared, C squared. Exactly, which means that the, the long side of your triangle, just imagine a little triangle, a little geometry for you guys, this side is going to be longer than either of those two dimensions. Thank you, science and math. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to press this. We're going to stay at 365. Oh, whoops. One thing I forgot, we have an insert in there, so we're going to adjust the pressure really quick. There we go. Um, oh, let me restart the counter. Sorry, guys. There we go. 60 seconds on the clock. Excellent work, guys. All right, so let's keep moving along with the questions here. Uh, Sam Torres, uh, do you have a store you can visit in Fullerton? And if so, is it open on the weekend? Mm. So it's a two-part answer there, Sam Torres. Part one is yes, we do have a store in Fullerton. We're located at 2300 East Walnut in the city of Fullerton. Um, part two is we are not open on the weekends. So it's gonna be Monday through Friday. We've got pickup hours between 8.30 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. I invite you to come down anytime if you'd like to maybe place an order online for store pickup or we can make and take orders here as well. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Nate Brown, uh, Jerry, I'm gonna need your help with this one. Mm -hmm. Can you sublimate on spandex polyester? Uh, it depends on how much spandex is in the polyester. Usually you want a high polyester percentage in that material. Also, spandex tends to mount at higher temperatures required ah. for sublimation. So there it looks we like our, our, we got our time's up here. All right, bring him back, Jared. The force is with us. So we're gonna slide this out. Now, I learned my lesson. Uh, there we go. Uh, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I don't have Esteban's, you know, incredible superhero strength and resistance to heat. Maybe he's the father of dragons. Heat does not harm him. But uh, so I'm just going to use this really quick. Um, this is cloth. We don't want it to set too long. Like Esteban said, we're just going to, you know, let it chill for a second. Um, but I think, and let me inspect. 
expect. Yeah, you no know. No peeking. What? what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding, I'm it's not Christmas yet. No. It's your world. Uh, I think I can just kind of. There we go. There we go. Yes, no ghosting. So check the, check this out. Uh, let me pull the tape off over here. Anyways, there we go. Look at this. Very cool summer graphic. Oh, hello, Summer. It's good to see you. I'm a pineapple. And once again, guys, I know you can't feel this, but there is no touch, no hand to any of this transfer. It is 100% dyed in there. It means it's permanent, not going anywhere, not worried about any fading. This can go in the wash as many times as you like. Very, very cool. So, and of course, if we have the time, we'll, we'll, you know, later on, we'll supplement the back of this. But yeah, very cool. Let's pull it off. Someone clean that up. And when I say someone, I really mean me. Or Alex. <laughs> um, we do have the uh, Vapor Apparel sock insert also available in the hockey stick style. You just yes. uh, saw the straight orientation for uh, your tube socks, but we do have everything covered. Um, as well as all the products and materials you've seen here today, everything is going to be available at heatpressnation.com. Feel free to give us a call. We have friendly representatives standing by 1-800-215-0894. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's going to do it for our live demos. If you guys have any questions at all, uh, we're going to be taking questions throughout the end of the broadcast, but I think we're at the part that everybody's really stuck around for. Giveaways? Giveaways. Giveaways. Contests. It's giveaway time. All right, guys, as we mentioned earlier, for those of you who were able to tune in last week, and if you liked and shared, we do have your names right here in this awesome, similarly themed Hello Summer Awesome Pineapple Coffee Mug. These are available in the 36 pack in both the Dolphin and the Orca. This is going to be under our sublimation blank section. You can prepare something awesome like this. Also comes in a great 15 ounce size as well when you need that the double the double shot of espresso in the morning, as we do. Exactly. Uh, Jared, you, you really killed it on those fabric oh, well, transfers you. here. You guys saw the sock. You guys saw the shirt. I think Jared should pick today, guys. What do you think? Aww, yes? You're, okay. No, you're so yeah, what yeah, if yeah. we pick together? Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. Actually, I don't even know how to I don't know how it's going to work. You got this. All right, you got all right, this. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Uh, so we got him. We got him. Who's lucky? Not lucky. Not lucky. Meaner than I am. Not lucky. Lucky. Oh, well, we have a repeat. We have Sharon Walsh. Sharon, thank you so much for liking and sharing. I think she won like several months ago, like yes, in so the early months of Heat Press Nation Live, but she is a regular. Uh, here at our Fullerton location. So we know and love Sharon Walsh Absolutely. Uh, very much. So Sharon, thank you so much. You're welcome to come by to claim your prize. Um, or you can just, we'll mail it to you free of charge. That's so right. uh, anyways, yeah, we have your contact info. We know we know who you are. Sharon Walsh is on <laughs> straight up. Um, for those of you who were not fortunate to be chosen this week, you Future can still, winners. Uh, Future exactly, winners. exactly. You can still get entered. All you got to do is like and share this post, and then we'll have another compilation of the names to draw on. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. I think we got a post of the week from last week to yes, reveal. Yes, we do say. have a winner from last week's post of the week competition. So our winner is Post C. Woo! Very, very cool stuff. We have not only the detailed football player in the middle, but we do have the multi-layered um, orange and like, uh, I, I want to say it's reflective. We've got some red, some black. Very, very cool stuff. So um, if you guys all voted, thank you guys so much. We're going to be getting in contact with our winner. Uh, we're going to be sharing that. So thank you guys so much for participating in Post of the Week, for helping us select our winner. Uh, and really quick before we go, we're going to run through the options for next week's winner. So this is who you can vote on right now. So get ready in the comments. Comment whatever letter you think should win. Um, and we have, what do we got here? Uh, uh, first up is option A. And again, I love this design so much here. It's simple, it's clean. You got the pocket logo there with the reinforced graphic on the back. As you see, we did the two layer there. That may or may not be some electric, but again, like I said, earlier, something I would purchase in the stores. I think this is awesome. Yeah, very, very rad. And then, of course, we have our <clears throat> Cheermeister right here. We have some really cool stuff. Glitter on the cheer blanket, on the cheer ribbons, on the cheer tote. They're all cheered out, and uh, it looks amazing. Oh, if you great ask layering so here, great assortment of, of colors, great arrangement. Option B. And then here, number C, coming in here, we got the athletic sports theme here with the crazy layering work, right, Jared? Yeah, so check it out. We got layers on, I think all, each ball is like at least a two-layer job, so that's really rad. And then, of course, we have the number one Nolan. 
I'm assuming it's his first birthday, but maybe he's just number one overall. Maybe they love Nolan Ryan. They just love Nolan Ryan. <laughs> That's a very cool, super cool layering job on this t-shirt. So go ahead and vote A, B, or C. It's very cool. Vote A, B, or C, whichever one you think should win. We pick our favorites. You pick the winners. That's HPN Post of the Week. Um, so make sure you vote. We're going to be announcing the winners next week. It's going to be super awesome. That's right, guys. Uh, Jared, if you want to show them really quick how to get entered in, make sure they always miss. All you got to do is you just got to share the post right there. You see it right there on the screen. Hit that post button because you do have to like actually post it to your timeline in order to be officially shared by Facebook. So make sure you guys get that done. Make sure you also get your like on there. Share it with your friends. That's how Sharon Walsh won today. That's how all these people could have almost won or will win in the future. <laughs> uh, so just make sure you do that. We draw the names every week of everybody who likes and shares our posts. So make sure you're getting that taken care of. Uh, it's, a, it's probably the easiest way to enter a contest I have ever no, seen. No, absolutely. So. Uh, another one is going to be sharing your work, as we mentioned, for post of the week consideration in our Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators. Uh, search that on the Facebook platform. Great source of information, peer support, great outlet to share your work, inspire others, or maybe get some cool ideas. I mean, there's stuff going in there regularly every day, as well as an outpour of support and information from all of our Heat Press Nation community family members. So make sure you definitely check out the group. It's right there on the bottom. It's right there. And just as a reminder, today we're live streaming to Facebook and to YouTube, uh, and we're doing this every week. So, um, but if you're on Facebook, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We have That's so right. many tutorials there for you guys. Lots of great stuff, how to on most of what you're seeing today. And we got a lot of content coming. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Maybe you're watching on YouTube and you're like, I wish there was a community of really sweet people who, could, I, could, who I can get help from on my stuff. If that's you, go join Heat Press Nation Creators on Facebook. Uh, really, the experience is not complete unless you're on both Facebook and YouTube. So Absolutely. definitely recommend that for you guys today. And uh, once again, guys, make sure you're using our hashtag for more consideration for Post of the Week. It's going to be right up there in your upper corner there, HPN Creators. Good on all your social media, uh, so, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Insta. Whatever you got. What have you. Um, a great way to get entered possibly for consideration in Post of the Week. So make sure you get that hashtag out there, guys. Yes, sir. All right. Before we go, I do want to let you guys know that we have a very special episode next week. Really? Very special. How special? Super special. I would say that something that we're doing next week has not yet been done before. Really? In HPN history. And that's next week? That's next week. Awesome. Can't wait to hear more about Stay it. Stay tuned, guys. I hate to be cryptic, but <laughs> darn. I really, we really want you guys there next week. So make sure you like and share this post. Let all your friends know, all your Heat Press friends know. Go to your Facebook groups. Let them know that we have a big giveaway next week uh, and that we have a big announcement. Oh, fantastic. All right, guys, something you definitely don't want to miss, guys. So make sure you tune in next week, same time, same place. Thank you so much for joining us, and everyone have a great weekend. See you guys.